one last touch on the flagpole base. At some point in time, I'm probably going to have to tighten these screws, or these nuts, but I don't want the bolts to turn. So what I did was epoxied all the bolts in with uh, two-part epoxy. Another project I got going, I got a vise here to uh, use that when I sharpen up my lawnmower blades. Uh, but I need a way to mount it. And upstairs I've got a 8 foot folding table. So I made this little base plate for the vise. Uh, the vise goes on like so. Uh, and then I secure the base plate to the table with two large C-clamps. I have some big heavy duty C-clamps that I'll use to make this particular base plate. First thing I did is made a nice square edge here by ripping this this piece uh, on, on my table saw upstairs. So I have a nice square uh, I, uh, surface here. And then this piece here I cut on my miter saw so I have a nice clean cut here. And then I doweled the two together. Um, there are three three-eighths dowels in here and then uh, it's all glued together and then on the back side if I can flip it over here use the same technique uh, to countersink uh, the bolts and we're going to use a uh, 5 16 inch uh, bolts uh, with washers and uh, the device goes on like so and then I mount the whole contraption to my the corner of my table upstairs and then I have a, a vise and of course I can angle it this way and then if I loosen the little clamp here I can swing it around uh, so that the jaws are facing this way. So that, those are the two base plate projects I got going on here.